Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Today I wanted to share with you all my favorite hydrating primers. These are all higher end primers that I have been using lately. If you want to do a drugstore version on this, just let me know because I can totally do that too. These are all the high end ones though. So these are going to run you between 30 to 50 some dollars. So they're a little bit more expensive for a primer. So these should be good. In my opinion, I think if you're going to pay that hefty amount, they should be good primers. So these are, in my opinion, very good primers for dry skin. I have very, very dry skin. I have acne prone skin. I have acne scars. So those are some issues that I kind of try to combat. I'm not so worried about my pores or anything like that. I know there are primers that are for mattifying. There's stuff for pore filling and things like that. I don't worry so much about that. For me, I worry about hydration and as far as whether it's going to help my makeup stay. And I feel like all these do an excellent job of helping my makeup stay and they're good for hydration. So let's get started. The first one is the new Becca First Light Primer. So this is a purple colored one. This one smells pretty good. It doesn't have a very strange scent or anything. So if you were, oh gosh, I just shot myself with it. If you were just curious about it, it does have a very slight scent to it, but it's nothing dramatic and it will leave your skin looking a little bit luminous. Let me put it on my hand so you can see it. I have something on that hand there that's like going to be disruptive. So let's do this. I'm trying to film a couple of videos today because I'm getting ready to head out of town. So I wanted to film this for you. So you can see that it totally gives your hand, my hand, a little bit of hydration and then it makes my skin look nice and luminous. So it does with that purple, it helps to cancel out a little bit of color, but nothing dramatic to where you're gonna be like, oh my gosh, now I need to put foundation on because I've got all this goopy stuff on my skin because now I'm trying to cover this, but now I need to cover this primer. This is just one of those that's gonna give you a little bit of a lip from within and it's gonna do a little bit of a, jo a good job trying to help to disguise things. I think it's got those light reflecting particles in it. That's what helps to make your skin look very luminous and beautiful. And it's very hydrating. It feels very good and smooth on the skin. Smells good. It feels good. So this is one I totally recommend. It's very hydrating too, of course. And the next one I want to talk about is the, let me make sure I'm getting the prices right on here because the price is right. This one is $48. So I think this is my most expensive primer. I'm pretty sure it is. So I was wrong, it's not 50. So this is the It Cosmetics number 50 Serum Collagen Veil Anti-Aging Primer. So this one's gonna do lots of skincare benefits besides the fact that it's it's poor, poor filling. Besides the fact that it's a primer, it's going to be hydrating. It has 50 plus hydrating anti-aging peptides, essential lipid rich oils, vitamins, extracts, and botanicals. This is really, really good. If you're looking for a skincare primer, this is one I totally recommend. I know it's a little bit more pricey and you're still only getting one fluid ounce so you're not getting anything extra as far as ounces go but i feel like it's a very very good product because it's got skincare benefits i feel like it cosmetics is well known for that because they give you products that are going to help you with anti-aging they're going to help you with all kinds of different things to help with your skin so they're they're not just about making you look good but they're about making your skin better itself so i really appreciate that this is a really good serum though if you're looking for a good serumy type of primer it's very hydrating and it does do a good job with helping to anti-age you so in my opinion it's a nice one it's a little pricey but other than that i think it's good and the next one is let me make sure i have my pricing here again is the it cosmetics i'm sorry it cosmetics it's the Too faced hangover rx primer so this one's actually a bigger size and i honestly never paid attention to that i always thought it was a fluid ounce but it's bigger so that's probably why it's taken me forever to run through this one this is 1.35 ounces so this one's a little bit bigger than most of the other ones that you're getting here and this one will run you 32 dollars so for the amount of product you're getting in here and for the price i feel like this is pretty good product with it's like a fair product. I feel like you're paying a decent amount of money for it and then you're not you're not being ripped off is what I'm trying to say. I think you're getting a good deal here. This is a really, really good primer. Now, if you like that coconutty scent type of primer, like the real coconut, not that fake coconut, this smells like real coconut. It is very, very hydrating. I think it works really, really good on my dry skin. It definitely helps to prolong my makeup wear. So if I put this on, my makeup stays on longer, my skin looks hydrated, and it smells like coconut. So it's got all these things that are awesome, especially now and during the summer. I still have to use products that are hydrating, even though I know it's summer and most people are like working towards like the mattifying and things like that. Not me. I'm over here still trying to like slather it all on, like give me anything and everything to keep me hydrated. And this is an excellent one. So I would say if you're in the market for something and you like the scent of coconut, this is a total recommend as well. The next one is the Kat Von D. So this is her Locket, what is it called? Locket Hydrating Primer and Base. So 
this is another really really good primer this one I don't think has any skin skincare benefits to it though so if you're looking for skincare benefits I don't see it in here it doesn't have an SPF or anything you are still getting a fluid ounce and this is $32 so it's the same price as the Too Faced so if you prefer the Too Faced over this one I would say that you're getting a little bit more in ounces they're very comparable the only difference is this does not smell like coconut it smells honestly I don't really smell a, sm a smell a scent in this one at all this one just smells smells this one just feels really really good onto your skin it's very hydrating this if you have the Kat Von D lock it foundation and you're like gosh I can't get this stuff to work because every time I put it on I feel like I'm putting a mask on you need this because this will totally change the ball game for the locket foundation this changed it for me anyway because i know when i was using the locket foundation i have very very dry skin like i said i put that locket foundation on and i'm like whoo i need to go peel this mask off because that's how it felt when i put that foundation on if i use this primer with it obviously she's she's formulated the two to go coincide and it works amazing together you cannot feel that texture on your skin anymore I still go in with a light layer of it because I don't want that heavy feeling on my skin but mixed with this foundation I mean this primer it works amazing I totally recommend this if you're going to use that foundation or if you have that foundation and you're like I can't get this stuff to work try this with it go get a little sample of it and try it out with it I think you're going to be quite surprised and the last one I want to talk about today is another one that's high end of course they're all high end here I'm trying to find the prices here i keep losing them this is another fluid ounce and this is the mark jacobs this is the invisible undercover perfecting coconut face primer so obviously it's going to smell like coconut in my opinion save your 12 dollars and get the extra ounces and get the two faced if you were going to get one or the over the other but these are very very comparable i really do like this even though i know you're getting less ounces you're paying more money i'm not sure if it's going to have skincare benefits in this or not but i know that it works the same as the two faced one but i still love it just because it does work the same as the two faced so it's not that i hate the product whatsoever i feel like the packaging is very sleek and very i don't know you feel like you need to put your pinky out when you're using it because it just feels very fancy so I really do like this product, but I feel like if you were looking in the market and getting something that's coconut scented, check out the Too Faced one. I really do love that one. I think the packaging is really, it's good on that one too. It's got the pump design on it. These all have pumps actually. So this one's got the pump design. My pump is like really gross. But both of these have the pumps. They all have pumps. And this one I feel like is another one that's really, really good though for hydration. So if you need that hydration in your skin, I think any of these right here to choose from today, you would be totally happy with. So you just kind of have to pick what you want. Do you want to pay for a Marc Jacobs one because you want to feel fancy? Do you want to pay for a Kat Von D one because you have the Locket Foundation and you can't get it to work? Do you want the Too Faced one where you're going to get extra ounces for $32? or the Becca First Light because it's going to help kind of it really helps to get rid of some discoloration on your skin and it gives you that glow from within so I really do like this one or last but not least the It Cosmetics one this one has a lot of skincare benefits in it I think it's very very good so all of these are very good I can totally recommend all of these two thumbs up on all of these I think they're really really good let me know if you've tried any of these and what you think of them let me know if you think that they're good they're bad whether you've tried them with different foundations and did they work or did they not work let me know thank you guys so much for watching and until next time i'll catch you guys later <music>